an extra pep in my step. Why you ask? Because my guest tonight is a fellow Canadian, and she's been part of so many cult TV shows, from Roseanne to Scrubs to How I Met Your Mother to Rick and Morty. Please welcome to my crib the fabulous Sarah Chuck. How did I do? Was that good? It was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. So I'm so happy you're here. How are you? Fellow Canadian. I'm going to hug your face. I wish I was in that studio with you. I know. It's not a studio. It's a house. But you know, we're, we're, tr we're trying and we're cheating and we're making it happen. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you. Where are you right now? Where are you quarantining? I'm in British Columbia in Vancouver. Oh, amazing. And you're from the East Coast, right? I am from Toronto, yes. So you're quarantining at home. Is this where you spent your whole quarantine? Yes, just in this chair in front of this wall. <laughs> this is where I spend my whole quarantine. And you have two kids, right? Yeah, four-year-old and 11-year-old. Okay, how's that been during quarantine? Are you homeschooling? Is that the deal? Yeah, yeah, we are. I feel like homeschooling during a pandemic is like being on an airplane with a baby where you bring like a bag of stuff to last for the eight-hour flight, but like everything lasts three seconds. So you're five minutes in and then you're like grabbing the like plastic spoon in inside the wrapper and trying to use that. Like, I think we ran out of all of my homeschooling ideas in like the first month once oh, we had no. finished our entire homeschooling <laughs> session about a month in and I was out of ideas. We moved on to pratfall classes. Wait, am I stupid? Should I not be in this industry? I don't know what a pratfall is. So a pratfall is like, if you're, if you're like running somewhere and then you like trip over something and fall flat on your face, but it kind of slips out of nowhere. So I, I, I took like a stack of books and I put them on the floor. I told the kids, like, you want to be like walking towards the books, but then as you get to the books, you turn around at the last second. So it looks like you don't know where they are, but you know where they are. And then you trip over them and you fall flat on your face. And then you try not to hurt yourself. Um, but Sometimes you do. Can you show me like a basic pratfall? Like, can you, what is it? I would I, love to learn this. I don't know. Okay, so like here's the chair. Okay, yeah, yeah. You see the chair? Yeah. So you're walking along, you're walking, you're walking, you're walking, you look back, and then you kind of just like, you fall on the, the, the chair. I love that so much. So the key is looking away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one. I don't want to be responsible for you you're getting injured. No, you're literally. totally going to be responsible. You're totally going to be responsible if I get hurt right now. Okay, I'll come take care of you. Okay. Oh. What What do we think? What's it going to be? It's 11 out of 10. It's just natural. You don't need to take my, you don't need to take the prop ball class. It's because of the hair. The hair makes it much more dramatic than it actually is. Very dramatic with your hair flying. <laughs> but I mean, it was perfection. You've been part of so many iconic TV shows, right? You've been part of so many projects and congratulations. One, but two, be real with me, girl. You must have had like one or two bad auditions if you're part of that many projects. Oh, I mean, <laughs> so many. Um, one audition I had, um, I was living in Canada and I would like, I hadn't moved to the States yet. So I'd fly down and just like cram in like a week mm -hmm. of auditions. And I auditioned for this Christian Slater movie and they were like, okay, come back next week and audition with Christian. I was super pumped and I thought I need to just run this. I need to get a coach. I need to practice. I had worked on something with Hilary Swank and I known that her acting coach was Larry Moss and he's supposed to be amazing. And so I went to the little bookshop, Samuel French, and had the guide that had the number. And I looked him up, called him and I said, um, hi, I'm doing this audition. Would you be able to have an hour uh, to, to coach me? And, and he said, uh, yeah, meet me at Barnes and Noble in Santa Monica. Um, up in the like the travel section and I was like oh it's it's 12 pages and it's you know it's pretty there's some screaming and he said it's fine we're gonna make sure you hit a home run every time so I take the elevator up I get to the language line, we go through it the hour goes by and we only make it through like the first four pages and the whole time he's like go back and I want you to really focus on every syllable and articulate every so we're like I'm articulating every syllable really well and I'm thinking in my head like I don't I don't know, I guess this is what, this must be, this is how you do it, I just didn't know. And so we finished up the session and I said, you know, thanks so much. I said, I actually, you know, just work with Hillary. And he goes, oh, oh no, no, that's Larry Moss, the acting coach. I'm Larry Moss, the dialect coach. No, no. So I spent this hour just being so confused working <laughs> on like elocution and pronunciation and making sure that every, you know, syllable could be understood. And, um, yeah. First of all, I'm very impressed with their use of the word elocution. I don't even know what that means. Second of all, um, that is hilarious. So there's just two Larry Mosses that have similar types of feels, and they, he didn't feel the need to clarify that on the phone? No, no, it just just meet me in the, in the travel section of Barnes & Noble. Also, I appreciate your hustle, because I feel like that's how most horror movies start. And the fact that you were just like, all right, I'll meet you in Barnes & Noble. 
I love that. That is the hustle right there. That is hilarious. And we got to talk about your new show, of course, on Netflix called Firefly Lane. It's been blowing up. Congratulations, Canadian A. Tell everyone who hasn't seen it, what is it about? So it follows these two best friends over 30 years. So it's Catherine Heigl and I, and we got to play ourselves at 20 and at 40. And so we got to, uh, you know, be in the 80s. And that was just ridiculously fun because, I mean, every day was dress up. Like we'd be like, oh wait, more hairspray, less, less shoulder pads, more shoulder pads, more blue eyeshadow, more stirrup pants. I love that. I love when you can just play. It's, it's probably so nostalgic as well and so much fun. I, I love that for you. But in the show, no spoilers. I don't want to give spoilers away. You get to do some pretty funky things. There's one scene actually where you open the door naked or naked, which I'm going to have to real talk this with you for a second. Like, are you just naked in front of a crew and then that's all chill? It depends on, you know, from, from show to show. For us, what it was, we were shooting Canada, and of course it was like the one day where we got snow. Like, right. I had on like underwear and sort of like stickers. Like stickers, like pasties yeah. and underwear. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's a bit it's a bit embarrassing. You're in, you're in very little, and then you open the door, and then it's snowing. How do you mentally prep for something like that? Oh, you don't. I don't, I mean, I, I don't think there's a way to, <laughs> there's a way to, it's just like, okay, we're doing it. Okay, all right. Well, I'm sure there's no coach for that. That's gonna want to meet you in Barnes and Nobles to help you through scenes like that. <laughs> <laughs> but only I need that coach. If I ever have to do an intimate scene or a new, I need a coach for that. Let's check out a quick clip of the show. So like, is his life the news or is he married or is like single or? Ms. Malarkey, <laughs> how long have you been wanting to do the deed? with the man who signs your paycheck. <laughs> Damn it, I don't want to do any deeds. I get it, I get it. Super handsome, mind of a cynic, heart of a dreamer type. It's sexy. <laughs> no, it is not like that. I'm not, I mean, like he's interesting, but I'm not interested. I just admire him in like a, you know, like a mentor, mentee kind of way. The kind of mentor who teaches the mentee what it means to be a woman. <laughs> oh, I got a snort. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy for you. It's so much fun, and you look like you're having a blast, and it just shines through the screen, and I cannot wait for you to just do so much more. Truly. Canadian win. Let's take over. We need to take over. We need to infiltrate. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for watching the show. If you click here, I think you can subscribe to the channel. If you click over here, more clips just like this one. Click them.